Hey guys, welcome to Quinian's Budget Crafts. Want to make some cargo slash shipping containers fast? Alright, well here we go. Grab a piece of cardboard. What kind of cardboard? Is it corrugated and free? That's the kind you want. Cut it down to size. What size? I don't know. I'm going with 8 inches by 3 inches, mostly because that's what this fold in it is already. And is it too big? Probably. Oh well, doesn't matter. Rip the paper off one side. Paper doesn't always rip off. Oh well, just keep picking at it. Toss the paper. No, wait, keep the paper. We need that. Measure out three inches, or whatever your sides are, away from the fold, and cut through only the corrugations. Do the same on the other side, and now you can fold it there. Measure 1.5 inches, or half, whatever your sides are, from that, and cut it completely off. Repeat that on the other side, and now it will fold into a little box. Hot glue that seam. The seam is now the bottom. You can cover this if you want to. Now cut out some panels for the doors. They're going to be three inches square, or whatever size you cut your box to. The doors need details. You guys know RFD Hobbies. I mentioned him a while back. He passed me in subs because he's awesome. He did boxes too. His doors have these horizontal lines on them. I have no idea what those are. I've seen them on crates, but mostly the crates I'm familiar with don't have those. So I'm not doing them. You can if you want. Grab some barbecue sticks. What? You don't have free barbecue sticks? Okay, fine. Grab some more cardboard. Smash it flat. Cut that into thin strips. Now take your door. Cut through only the paper every one quarter across. Mash those cuts down. Glue the thin strips you cut to either side of the central divot. Now these handles need handles. Cut a couple more small pieces of cardboard and glue them in the middle right next to each of the pole things. There, now you have a box, but it still looks weird. Take that paper from earlier, cut some strips out, how wide, however wide you think you need, I guess. The paper still has marks in it from the corrugation glue, so I'm using about two of those wide. Now soak the paper in the glue of some kind and massage it into the corners of the box. Don't worry about being messy, just trim the ends later. Repeat this on all of the edges. There, now you're done. Paint it how you want. Spray paint works well here. Have your wash help. Stickers are nice. If you're building for Gaslands, you can go to the Osprey Games website. They have these cool things you can print out. I think they're meant for billboards, but they're also good for shipping container labels. Just soak it in some water glue and stick it right on there. The orange one was individual panels, and I wet it some more. The red one is how I just showed. If you want it nicer, be more careful about how you make your cuts and glue things. But one good thing about this method is you can go nuts and not care. If you want it to be more messed up, just wet it and smash it. Okay, certain people who told me to hurry up and get to the point, was that fast enough for you? In all seriousness though, a pretty decent amount of thought actually went into the design and construction of these. What I did is made a scale appropriate printout that you can print out, glue to a piece of cardboard, cut those out, and glue it together. That way you don't have to try and figure out what sizes and stuff work, and it's easier if you have a blueprint, basically. You'll find that over in the Tabletop Dungeoneers Discord under the PDF Shares channel. Of course, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.